But whenever you talk about secret shops, it always reminds me of the script that a friend of mine wrote. Uh, yes. And I, I had actually only read like the first 10 pages. She wanted my opinion. But it was called Buddy Dinkelmeyer Mystery Shopper. Okay. And it was... And when I was reading it, I saw Rain Wilson in it as, as, for the part. Yeah. You know, I was like, that's who I would cast, you know? Nice. And that's just off of House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. not off of Community or anything. Because this guy was, was super serious, but he was an idiot. Almost, a, almost a, an Inspector Clouseau of the mystery shopper world. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead. Freaking secret shops. So ah, I dropped my recording device. So sick of secret shops. Well, well, so how how does one become a secret shopper? Do the act? Do, do they actually answer the ads in the back of the Inquirer? Um, I can tell you exactly how people uh. Or at least how how my wife became a secret shopper because my wife is a secret shopper. Oh, um, my my wife just one day we were in Sacramento and she said I I need to 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 supplement our income. What if I became a secret shopper? And I'm like I don't even know how you go about doing that. How do you even become a secret shopper? So she did some googling and she said it's like oh I found this company, and um, if you give them ten dollars. Uh huh. They will. They will uh, put you in their list of secret shoppers, and then companies come to them with secret shops, and you get to pick and choose which one you want to do. And if they choose you, you get to do the secret shop. And immediately, I'm like, wait, you have to pay them ten dollars, ten dollars, or fifteen dollars, or twenty dollars, something like that. And I'm like, that sounds like a scam. I don't know. How yeah, that that, that always gets me nervous. That becomes a that sounds like a scam, and she said, "Ah, what do you have to lose?" And she did it, and then immediately, like like literally uh, after like probably PayPaling them like the twenty bucks, she was like, "Oh my god, I just got a Harley Davidson secret shop." And so, yeah. like, we went to the Harley Davidson store that was in town, pretending to be in the. You know, just looking for a motorcycle, and and we had to ask them all these specific questions and get their names and stuff. And mm -hmm. next thing you know, she, my wife is just bouncing around doing secret shops left and right. And and like I don't, I still don't trust a company like that. But it definitely yeah. worked for her because she has just not stopped doing secret shops. She is a secret shopper nowadays. Back in the day, we used to go, okay, we're gonna go to this town and go to this store and look for this thing. Or okay, we're gonna be going to this uh store and we're gonna be looking for this type of thing. And then we need to go to another employee and we need to do this and that. Eventually it became a bit too much when we were doing a lot of driving. So nowadays we still do secret shops, but only food and it's wonderful. <laughs> So we get hired to go to this uh, Arby's or this Brahms or this yeah. um, sit-down family restaurant or this Vans pig stand, and we get to order whatever we want and see if they – most of the time it's, oh, uh, will they offer more? Yeah. Oh, you know, for just 45 cents, you can get the blank. And then – when we're done with that, when we're done with our food, we go through the drive through because there's always that part. You have to do both things. And then my wife comes home and she writes about it and she sends them a copy of the receipt. And in a couple of days, we get paid back the, f the amount we paid for the food plus a little tiny stipend. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. Basically, we're hired. We're paid to eat food around town. <laughs> 